Hello everybody, hello, hello, Hassanier, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I wanna break the breaking news, release the breaking news, discuss about the breaking news, and of course we're talking about Vertex and CRISPR therapeutics getting the first ever CRISPR-based genome editing therapy approved in a region in the world. So that means they can commercialize it, they can sell it, they basically can go straight, well, probably not straight, but they will go straight to the patients and basically potentially cure them or rather cure them at this point because you now have the UK who have now proved for the first time ever in human history the first genome editing therapy in the world. And that's pretty big, guys. That's pretty big. So a couple of things. First, just because the U UK allowed it does not mean Europe, Canada, or even the US now allows it. Yes, it's a great look for CRISPR as a whole, but it is obviously not a causation. So you got to think of it as every region having their own regulation, their own regulatory body to approve, right? So the US obviously deals with the FDA, Canada deals with Health Canada, and Europe deals with EMA and so on, right? So the same idea for other regions around the world. However, this is still big, guys. This is still, still big. I mean, this is something that we've been waiting for in this channel for many, many years, okay? When I started this YouTube channel, it's going to be three years uh, in a couple of, I think in like two months, it's going to be three years that we've been posting videos. Uh, I would say every day, but in the last few months, I've reduced it to once a week. So let's just, for the simplicity, every few days video for the past few years, specifically three years and a couple of months. And we've been waiting for this moment. This moment where CRISPR is now approved to basically be commercialized. That is just big. And of course, this is more for sickle cell disease. And of course, if we go through this article just for the sake of it here, of course, this is a press release from CRISPR Therapeutics. You'll see something similar on Vertex, their own website. Just as a reminder, Vertex owns 60% of this program. CRISPR owns 40%, so if anything, Vertex has a, how do you say this, uh, uh, more meat in the game, but it doesn't really change anything. Both companies are equally invested when you think about the big picture here. So uh, they're calling it uh, the uh, sickle cell genome therapy in US, they're calling it CASGY. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, so we'll just call it uh, the therapy in the UK, just for the simplicity. Uh, is indicated for treatment treatment of sickle cell disease in patients of 12 years old and older. And of course, there's specific genotypes here. Uh, and we take a look at here. There are estimated 2,000 patients eligible in the UK alone, just based on their requirements that they're tackling. Vertex CEO, Reshma, who's been an amazing CEO in this space, by the way. Uh, today is a historical day in science and medicine. This authorization of this CRISPR therapy in Great Britain is the first regulatory authorization of a CRISPR-based therapy in the world. Uh, and of course, Dr. Sam, CEO and leader of CRISPR Therapeutics says, I hope this represents the first of many applications of this Nobel Prize winning technology to benefit the eligible patients with serious uh, diseases. So in two glo global clinical trial in sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia, the trials have met their primary outcome becoming free from severe VOCs, transfusions for at least 12 consecutive months. So they're looking at a 12 months period. Uh, of course, VOCs are extremely uh, important to eliminate for patients because that is con constant blood transfusion it's a lot of money lots of resources and of course maybe in a uk region it's not a huge deal but when you look at regions like africa asia certain countries there there's no way they can allocate vocs for every single sickle cell disease patient for example so yeah this is big guys this is this is really big i mean this is this is something that we've been talking about for many, many years, like I said earlier in this video. Uh, 
this is breaking news. I mean, we now have, for the first time ever, a CRISPR therapy to go directly to humans. This has never been done before, and today is the first official date. So let that be known, right? The 16th November 2023 is the first date ever that a CRISPR-based therapy has been approved for humans to be used, commercialized in the UK in this in this example. But this is just amazing, guys. This is, this, you know, I can't even express in words for now. Maybe I need a couple of days here. And, of course, the fact that I'm on vacation doesn't really help. But, man, guys, this is this is big. This is amazing. I think a lot, I speak for a lot of people in this space here in this is something we've been waiting for for many, many years. I mean, you know, in some cases over a decade now. So this is amazing, guys. This is this is what I wanted to see when I first started this YouTube channel and things are coming to fruition. And the beautiful thing about all of this is just this is just the beginning, right? When you take a look at the S-curve in technology, we're not even at the beginning of the S letter, right? We're so, we're not even, in the we're barely in the first innings here. In my opinion, the first innings is when CRISPR gets approved in the U.S. as well, not just in the U.K. And of course, U.K. is a huge market, but let's be honest, if it's approved by December 8th, which is obviously the big date there, by the FDA, then I, I, I honestly think the first inning starts at that point. I, in my opinion, it's already started with this press release, but I think a lot of investors are still looking at the FDA and waiting for that decision because... Like we've mentioned many, many times in our channel, the FDA has a huge, huge influence around the world, right? Just think about what the FDA does. Whatever the FDA does, I mean, most regulatory bodies follow, right? Uh, you can't really say that for the UK body, right? Uh, so if the FDA says yes, I mean, Health Canada is probably going to say yes. EMEA, I mean, all these regions. So it's food for thought, right? So obviously... Everybody's still waiting for that December 8th answer by the FDA, but this is just amazing, guys. This is, I'm really, really happy. Uh, look, I need more time to think about it, but this is, this is big, guys. This is, this is amazing. Uh, I'm not even going to look at the stock price. I don't even want to talk about that right now. I just want to look at this news, digest it, and just think about the future of CRISPR. I think the future is bright. I think there's lots of opportunities in this space, and I think people are starting to catch on here. So it's been, we've been waiting this for many years, guys. So whatever, wherever you are in your region, make sure you reward yourself with a nice meal or a nice drink or whatever you're into, because uh, this is big, guys. Uh, I'll definitely reward myself as I'm here in vacation. So I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, guys, subscribe if you're not. Like this video if you have value. And let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you guys think about this news? Let me know. I'm curious. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. And long live CRISPR.